putting more pressure on this knight. Of course, he has ideas of coming to d7 with the other knight to put an, another attacker and then maybe kick my bishop and put a fourth attacker. But also, like, look at his queen side is a bit exposed. So if he castles queen side, I would say I have the advantage. So let's play g4 with the idea he has to go back. And if he goes here, I play f3 and I drop the bishop. Now h4. He's forced to play h6 or h7. Of course, I don't have this move because he would capture with the pawn. I open this file for his rook and I can't recapture with this because otherwise I blunder my rook. Uh, my rook there, yeah. So instead, I will just grab with the knight. Of course, he has to recapture with the pawn. My idea is to come here, a free developing move. I will be ready to castle queenside. I'm very safe there. And maybe he will try to, to defend with the king. In that case, I think I have the advantage. But first, let's capture the bishop. I don't want him to capture and mess my... Well, I, I actually would blunder a pawn, so <laughs> I don't want that, of course. Now let's go for this, yes. 